Look where we are today then. Seem familiar? I hope so. Because this is more than the story of a resort in itself. This is a story of closure, of neglect and replacement. This is Resort Roundup. Hello everyone, my name is Craig and I am Cessna Brun. Welcome back to Resort Roundup. For each few episodes of this series, we'll be focusing on First Choice, a package holiday operator based in the UK, and their holiday villages collection of resorts around the world. The year is 2009. First Choice operates a total of nine holiday villages around the world. Costa del Sol, Sun Tropical, Viva, Turkey, Red Sea, Golden Beach, White Sands, Algarve and Ali Afon. And while a few are enjoying their first or even second season of operation, several are about to close for good. To see the reason for this, we must consider First Choice's position as a company. Having only just merged with 2E Group, the largest holiday company in Europe had to battle through the worst recession since the Great Depression. Share prices across the board are the lowest in years and more companies are going bankrupt than ever before. The decision was therefore made to close some resorts. Firstly, both star class HVs would go. Nobody wants to fly long haul in this economy and to be brutally honest, they can't afford it either. The other and slightly odder one is HV Sun Tropical, which it seems closed due to negative reviews. It is the replacement of this HV that we will focus on today. HV Sun Tropical was one of the cheaper HVs in the collection, being in one of the most popular holiday destinations, Lanzarote. First Choice would not let Sun Tropical go unreplaced though. The Lanzarote HV was a real cash cow, so there would have to be a replacement. And that replacement was this. Thomson Family Club Flamingo Beach. A hotel which had stood for over 30 years. Was it a good choice? In my opinion, no. But we'll get to that bit later. The resort opened at the beginning of summer season 2010, after the quick fitting of an aerial adventure course, a lovely Holiday Villages sign out front, and a new pool. Very nice. The resort featured nothing particularly groundbreaking, with many facilities remaining unchanged from its days as the Nord Hotel, and the resort, while being a respectable size, felt very cramped all round. For example, the main pool is really quite small, and for being the centrepiece of the resort, it is hemmed in by the apartments everywhere. Here's another. The sole entertainment venue is indoors and enclosed, with a low ceiling producing poor sonic performance and pillars blocking the already limited view of the small stage. It is clear to me then that this resort, like Ali Afon, was originally designed as apartments rather than a resort. In fact, I would go as far as to say that until the turn of the millennium, Flamingo Beach was nothing but apartments, a check-in and a pool. What then does that have to do with anything? Well, these geographical and structural limitations limited options for expansion or improvements that would bring it on par with a normal HV. In short then, I think that First Choice were not looking for a permanent long-term HV for Lanzarote, but rather a quick and cheap conversion to an existing hotel that booking could be transferred to without too many complaints. On the topic of complaints then, what did guests think? Surely Flamingo Beach would have to be an improvement after the two-star wonderland that was Sun Tropical's a TripAdvisor page. Let's take a look. They start off pretty good. Tony A. Barland said it was a fantastic choice of holiday and that it lived up to their expectations. But the reviews declined pretty quickly. Lisa, for instance, says that Butlins in the Sun is an insult to Butlins and joined many in rating the HV two stars, rather than it's awarded four. More recently, someone asked if the Jeremy Kyle show rep has sent some of the guests there, and at its worst it was suggested that the place was a health and safety hazard. Jeez. So inevitably, I suppose, HV Flamingo Beach closed at the end of 2016. It was not replaced, or at least not for a while. It became a Tui family life and subsequently Tui Blue Resort, which remains open today. It still receives mixed reviews, something I doubt will change 
unless they decide to redesign it. HV Flamingo Beach then was not great. It lasted seven seasons, but only until an opportunity arose for it to become something other than an HV, and something a little bit more German. But we can all be sure that HV Flamingo Beach was not the home of All Inclusive. Well everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I'm looking forward to our next resort as it is the best HV with absolutely no caveats and I can't wait to show you it. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of them. I've been Craig, I am Cessna Brune and I will see you in Columbia Roads soon. <laughs>